Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today we are using the Chinese fortune reading cards here. And I'm shooting this in my car in between errands and so it's not ideal but um, I wanted to get this out to you and uh, this is the only chance I have. So I'm going to go ahead and shuffle these cards and we can begin the reading. For those of you who've chosen the first option, which is option number one, we're asking, what is it that we need to know at this moment? What is it that we need to know at this moment? And the card we have is, the card we have is the sun. So the caption just reads the sun, the title of the card, that is, just reads the sun, and it's the number 28. Now, I feel that uh, this is a time where you can really look forward to quite a lot of goodness in your life. You can look forward to a productive time and a time where things kind of come to manifest much more easily than usually. I think also here that there's an opportunity to look at things from a different point of view to have a more positive outlook as far as your life is concerned, as far as things are concerned generally. I think also here that you have a chance in which to, to make things better. So if you've been having a some kind of um, um, miscommunication or some kind of... Uh, upset with a friend or a family member or some colleague of yours, this is a chance for you to be able to make things better. Uh, so you can, For the, I feel this energy lasts for a couple of weeks. So it's this week and next week. It's a time to be able to revisit friendships or family relationships, which might need to be looked on with a little bit more care than previously. And it's a time to make things right again. At least it feels like, like that to me. It also feels here to me that um, you might need to have some kind of um, health-related issue be looked at at this time, and it is a favorable time to have it be looked at. So if you've been having some kind of ailment or some kind of pain, a chronic pain or a chronic any kind of chronic condition, um, or even if it's just something that's come up recently, it's time to go and consult um a medical practitioner who can advise you better on, the, on that. Um, just a disclaimer, I'm not a medical practitioner and um, and yes, and I'm just advising you as to what is needed at this point. I think ultimately here what I feel is that there's a chance for you to be able to create something good out of things that were not so good. So there's a chance to be able to move ahead, to make a good headway in a particular direction in your life. You might feel in this month of October that things have really worked out for you in this in this time, in this time that we uh, in this week as well as in in this in the next few weeks. You might find that uh, things which have been stagnant, things which haven't been moving, uh, are able to move again, and you're able to be a bit more consistent with it. So you might have felt that in in September things have moved already for you. But in October, you'll feel that you things are not just moving, but that you are able to find uh, a way to be consistent in the progress that you're making. I feel here that this is a reliable energy. It's something that you can depend upon. And I feel that it's a lucky time for you. Use this time to make hay while the sun shines. That's what comes to mind. It's a sense that you should be able to use this opportunity right now to be able to make things better for you. Yeah, I think ultimately here there's a there's a sense that you can make good at this time, that things can be well, that you can adopt a happier perspective, that things can actually work out in your favor and that you can be happy regardless of what else is going on around the world or around in your home or in your work environment. This is just a good time for you, for you personally. All right, so I'm going to leave it there. I think that that's um, what I've found here. All right, I wish you well on your way and many blessings for the week ahead. So for those of you who have chosen the option number two, be asking, what is your weekly oracle card guidance? What is your weekly oracle card guidance? And we have the card Wish here. 
Now I feel here that this is uh, this is a wonderful card to have. I think that really it is a time of manifestation. And I've been saying this in the last couple of weeks now on these readings that it's a time where you can manifest quite easily. And I feel here that this card is a reminder of that, that it is a time where you can manifest quite easily and that things can work out really well for you if you were to choose to wish for what it is that you desire. Now, one of the things I'm hearing here is that you may face a difficulty where you find that you are confronted with all the obstacles, all the reasons why something cannot work. So you might desperately want something, you might recognize it as a solution, but you feel that there's no clear path from where you are to where that place is. And you somehow feel that, you know, there's no point of even wishing, there's no point of even manifesting. It can't be. It's something, or maybe you haven't even just thought about it. You haven't even, it hasn't even occurred to you because you just don't feel that you it's within your reach. Perhaps you feel that there are financial obstacles or uh, administrative uh, bureaucratic uh, obstacles in your way. Maybe you just feel that there's no chance that you can actually have this thing that would be make your life a lot easier or make your life more comfortable. And I think that um, this, this card, it's number 26 here. And I feel that you know, it's your lucky time. You can actually wish it into being. You can actually manifest it. And I felt this also as I've been reading for clients recently as well. I felt that this energy come up and it says, well, you know, you can actually manifest this thing. You know, you might think that it's not within your grasp or it's not it's, it's not possible for you to make it happen, but it's definitely within your grasp. And all you need to do right now is just to think about it. Think about it and think, Don't you don't need to think about how it's going to happen. Just think about how nice it would be if you had it and and concentrate on that and try to avoid thoughts uh, coming into your mind where you feel, oh, you know, it'll be so nice to have it, but I can't have it because of this and that and that. You know, just try to focus on that energy, on that vibration, which is, well, if I had it, it would feel like this. And I feel that that is the main message for you this week. I also feel that this is a really prosperous time for you, that you can make quite a lot of money at this time. So if you are an entrepreneur, if you are thinking about um, endeavoring in some way uh, with some kind of new skill that you want to use to create an income, an extra income for you, it will be a successful time for you. I would stay away from gambling. However, I don't think that this is that energy which... Um, is supporting gambling. I feel like um, it's a different kind of energy. It's more like if you've put an effort into something, if you've worked on something, if you have an idea that you want to bring into the world, into being, then now is the time in which to put that out there. And I think that this energy continues for a couple of weeks for you. So it feels to me like this energy continues until the first week of November for you, okay? So I would say that use it to be able to launch a new company or launch a new product or launch uh, your ideas, perhaps your writing, perhaps your paintings, perhaps uh, some particular skill that you have. Maybe you're really good at creating things from crochet, crocheting or from knitting or something like this. And um, you recognize that you have the skill, but you haven't brought it out in the world as yet. And now is the time to be able to do that. If you want to make aromatherapy uh, products or something to that effect, now is the time to be able to put it out in the world. It's going to be successful. All right. I think also here, there's a sense that if you want to have love in your life, if you're wishing for love in your life, this is also something that can be. And don't be, uh, don't shy away when you have more than one opportunity uh, to get to know somebody and it's almost as if you need to take time to get to know uh, more than one person before you can actually decide on who you you want to be with and there's this, this feeling here of the, there being more than one type of person that you can actually um, correspond with or get along well with and it's a time as well where you feel more um, in tune with the world where you find that you can get along better with people in the world as well. I feel that this is really a wonderful time for you and really things can work out very very well for you if you were to actually continue on this path. I feel like this is also a time where you can put the bells and whistles onto something. So if you have had something that's been pretty bland or it's not been inspiring for you, it is a time where you can decorate it or make it better or make it more suitable for you or make it, uh, you know, create it uh, anew with a, with a more joyous vibration. 
it feels fun, it feels light, it feels floaty, it feels like you can actually create something wonderful at this time and that life can really be good. So I would say that if you have something that's been, um, that's been a bit of, you know, that's had some kind of energy of you, it's it's been perturbing you in some kind of way, then use this time to actually just um, see if you can um, change something up change something up because it's the time where you can do it with much more ease you know you may want to redecorate your bathroom but you don't have the funds to be able to do that and here's a chance for you to go and just uh move things around a bit differently just to be able to place some plants in there or do some put some creations in there that will make you happy and the the what i'm hearing is that now is the time to put the bells and whistles onto something okay it's a favorable time to put the bells and whistles into something and i think that however that resonates with you with with, with whatever it is that it that that resonates with you you need to be able to just have the courage to go ahead and do that it's a time for that yeah, so I'm going to leave there for you for this week. I hope that's been a helpful message and I hope that uh, you can actually um, make the headway that you've been wishing for. All right, many, many blessings to you all. So for those of you who've chosen the option number three, uh, we're asking, what is your weekly oracle card guidance? And what is the message that you need to know right now? What is it that's going to help you as you go ahead? And we have the card reunions. So as this card would uh, suggest, I think it's definitely a time to be able to reach out to people that you might want to um, fix relationships with or just uh, just let them know about the, um, the impact that they've had in your life. Sorry, I feel that this weekly uh, forecast is not just for now i feel like it's for the whole month to be honest um but and i felt this for the other options as well but i i want to say that i feel like this time like now and the month of october uh or the month ahead let's just say the next five weeks is actually a time where you can um, regain trust in someone where you can um, meet somebody else again or you might feel inspired by some old uh, boyfriend or lover or, or girlfriend or somebody that aroused you previously and you might be thinking about them again I feel that this is a time as well where you can make good on a promise that you might have had or you might have made in the past it might be a time where you choose to repay somebody back for something that you owe them it might also be a time where you can choose to apologize to someone where you know that you've been needing to make that apology or that an apology in that particular relationship is going to help heal that relationship. I feel here that um, it could be um, that you're visiting a family home or you are uh, recognizing something about family in this next while or at least in this next week which is something that's going to remind you about something about the past. So it's like um, you might get a phone call from a family member and it reminds you of something in the past, it reminds, me of, it reminds you of something in your childhood or in your early adulthood and this is going to set off a, a turn of events which might get you to think about other things, which might get you to think about thing, other matters in your life which is of importance for you right now. I feel also here that it's a time to reach out to elders in your family, it's time to Reach out to people who have, you know, aunts and uncles who might be older, even your your parents, and and just to be able to hear their perspective, to understand the world from their perspective, and to hear them out and hear what they have to say, and actually just to listen. I feel that right now for you, it's a time to really listen and to hear what is really being said, as opposed to always having your own opinion and trying to to kind of, um, you know impose that upon them and I'm not saying that you all do that but it might be resonant for some one person you know who comes to this reading so it's just one of the messages that come up and no offense so the number year of this card is number 14 and numerologically it's a five and um, I think that this is a card where uh, you might also find that you have some kind of conflict when you are reaching out to people uh, who are older or who are in your family or older friends that you've um, stopped having contact with. 
it might be also that it's a time where you kind of think about the impact that people had in your life previously, perhaps your teachers, perhaps school friends that you've had, and how you've responded to them, how you've reacted to particular situations, and how that has created the person that you are at this moment. So I think that, you know, if you are thinking about older times or times in the past, and you're wondering about um, your uh, contribution to those times, I think it's going to be important as far as your development further is concerned. It's going to be an important time for you um, um, to, to be thinking about that. And I, and I think here the advice that I can give you is when you are when you do find yourself thinking about somebody in the past, just naturally, spontaneously, not because you've heard this here, then I think that you know, think about why, what, what, how that created you or how that impacted you and how it is that you are the person that you are today and how that needs to be perhaps redressed. Uh, because there's something about it coming up for a reason, for a, a particular reason. And there's some kind of feeling here that these things are coming up right now for you because it needs to be redressed. It needs to be looked at. It needs to be assessed. Okay, so I think, um, you know, that is the advice that I can give you as far as this card is concerned at this moment. I think regardless of the situation that you find yourself in this week, it's important to be humble. It's important to take an opportunity to be um, to to choose humility as opposed to being right or choosing to make your point. I feel like this is a week where you need to hold back a little bit and not make your point, but rather just um, assess the situation with humility and compassion and and be the one who's willing to learn from this. Be the one who's willing to take into account what others have to say. I think it's going to be important as far as that is concerned. All right. So I'm going to leave that with you uh, there. And I'm wishing you all a wonderful week ahead. And uh, many, many blessings to you all. Have a lovely time as you go ahead and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.